goes, what's up? It's JB Illusion here with the Hotchland Hunters. I know you guys thought that they would never come back. I am trying to decide whether or not we need a smuggler. Uh, the Hotchland Hunters were going to be hunters who use mostly, like, bows. That was what I was thinking, but let's try a very interesting build for the smuggler that I was thinking about doing. She should get, like, one or two skill points. That's really all we need. I just want to test out some things. We have Lizette Grenbach, who we are going to try to get one of, I think, I think it's probably one of the most important things. Impact shot, um, Captain's Order is really good, but Hand Bomb as well I think we're going to try to get. Just because it's a thrown weapon that you don't need someone to walk past and trigger, you know, like some of the smugglers traps. I had a heck of a time actually trying to get to use Smuggler's Traps, I did a stream, everything was good until a Daemonite showed up and killed an ogre, a smuggler, and four other dudes! So, woo! I'm still, I'm still actually pretty sad about that. Her ballistic skill needs to be... Ah, we're one point short, sadly. So we're not going to get to try that out. Maybe a little bit later with this character we could try something like that her leadership we're going to up alertness let's up the intelligence one and alertness again her agility is going to be a big factor um we're going to do one more toughness all right now let's see what we can pick up i really think her active abilities are very very useful can't get hand bomb sadly and captain's orders nine leadership eh, we're not gonna hit that Impact shot we will take, um, a ranged attack that deals regular damage but bypasses 15% of the target's armor absorption. Absorption, that's awesome. So let's pick that up. And passive skills, I do believe we're going to try for, uh, we're going to go for fine tuning, but we need a 9 here as well. Basically, um, increases critical chance with black powder weapons, it's pretty cool. We got tight crew when other allies engage with the enemy, increased dodge or parry chance against the target by 10. That's pretty nice. Um, hmm. In and out. Tight crew actually might be useful. I think that actually would be good for a group of hunters. And also, quick reload is probably a must with this character, so we're going to pick that up right now. And maybe later, we'll do a little something with what she has. Maybe a little later we'll grab tight crew and then after that you know we will pick up hand bomb. Just because I think it's really useful and also captain's order is amazing. I'm saying that right now. If you guys don't like the smuggler her um, captain's order ability is at least incredibly useful. So we've got that we are not having a wizard with us I just really want to try her out. It's not going to be too much. I know we're still going to obviously upgrade one of our hunters to a veteran hunter and he's going to be a captain. I just wanted to try her out. We really have her for free. So that's pretty good. We have five days for him. He got he got the stuffing beat out of him. We'll raise his accuracy up a little bit. And good grief. What did he even get hit by? It's been so long. He has a deep wound. Okay. We have no ship requested, so we can kind of chill out, and let's pick up some weapons as well. Aww. Pick that up, and... Maybe a great hammer, just because. And let's see... He gets the great hammer. Because that's definitely a weapon I want this guy wielding. Light armor, maybe make him a little bit tougher. Um, I do not like that one side. I'm going to equip everybody and we're going to cut right to our decisions for the next battle. Uno momento, por favor. Okay, we're back. I finished um, hooking everybody up with items. Um, some guys have recovered from brain trauma and their grievous deep wound. We also have a new shipment request. It's not too much, so I'm not really too worried about it. It's a little early, I feel, to do river rats. Probably next time we come back, we'll check that out. 
Um, poor, poor, poor. Not really too much that we can get off of this. Uh, hmm. Hunters and Prey. And Rivals in the Ruins. I actually think that Hunters and Prey would be a lot of fun. And I really want to play this army kind of how I feel like it should be played. So we're going to check that out. Let's go for it. Alright, cool. I can dig it. Also, since the latest patch, the load times are actually a lot shorter, so I guess I'll be talking to you guys for just a little bit. We've already had one break, and let's be honest, that was enough for you guys. You you want more J the Illusion. <laughs> I'm certain of that. So basically what we're going to try to do is snipe them down and just be afraid. Oh, look, round one. They're already telling us that we're prepared. A new All right, I love started. the new combat log, I gotta be honest. So, the cool thing about this warband that I like is... See, the reason why I love the humans so much is because you can flavor them in so many different ways. Like, um, a couple of the people that I know have, like, storm vermin groups, like, entirely warp guard, and then as a leader, you have the Skaven wizard. I really think that that's awesome flavor-wise. I think it was Kara who has that. She came by the stream, I believe. And that's actually super dope. It's just an interesting way to play, and I love interesting ways to play certain groups. The Night Stalkers. Oh, bleep. Well, at least it's not squeaking them. Let's try to get a high vantage point for... <laughs> Alright. Don't go through there. Let's... Go around. I suppose see what's in here. I was hoping for weird stone, but apparently that's in the next building over. Lovely. Well, not really much of a point in being right there. That was probably me being a little too overzealous. I'm going to try to, like, calm down, but I got, like... I have, like, some lingering feelings of, uh, just uneasiness. Last night, I was playing with my level 7 warband. Um, the Altdorf Artillery, they're kind of like this warband. That's kind of where I got the idea. Oh! Hello, gentlemen! That's, that's gonna be a lot of fun. So the cool thing is, he's in there. So maybe we could set something up. What we're going to do is we're going to get Jerno out here, and we're going to have him back. We're going to have him back our young blood up. Even if the young blood has to engage in combat, at least our dear friend Jerno can support him from the um, sidelines or the back line, whichever line you would like. Okay, come on, Weirdstone. Here, Weirdstone. Here, Weirdstone. Rudiger's coming to find you! Okay, so it's a, on the other side? Lovely. Or it's actually probably just a little up top. So let's go back and not take the long route. Let's take the short route and we'll be there for the weird stone because you know how weird stone is. Alright. Ugh. Okay. It's alright. Rudiger, I trust you. You'll make it next time. You are the old man of the group, so that's kind of... That's what happens. Alright, so we have Lizette here. And... She could hang out with those guys. I kind of want to send her... She has the better movement speed out of the group, so we're going to send her further in. Um, where can we enter from? We can try to get over here. I'm going for it. <clears throat> Wow. So, the idea of the smuggler is probably has had some experience on the high seas. That was impressive. Gotta admit that. I'm impressed. Overwatch stance. Maybe with the hunting rifle she'll actually be able to hit something. Maybe a Skaven will t try to tiptoe across that little area in front of Jesus Christ. Okay. That's... That's a really good sniping spot. I don't know where he went. I, I think I saw him like come around the bend. 
I am impressed. Nice. And he got stunned. Oh, we got Skullcracker. Fantastic. A hundred stuns. Because that's all we do in the camp of JB Illusion. Just get stuns all day. And get stunned. If you've ever watched anything that I, else that I've ever done. So the Hotchland Hunters, I really like... I, I just like this style of play. I'm going to try to make a more heavily armored unit later on. Um, that's basically kind of like knights, Bretonian knights, except, you know, they're not because they're not going to get any favors from the lady. Um, so there's some right to the side. Oh yeah, right there. Nice, it's a fragment. But then again, every fragment counts, people. Every fragment counts. Tom von Mothberg, where are we going? We can't climb up there, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to get some type of support from our dear friend. Oh, look at that. There's more fragments. That's awesome, right? Because that's that's all we need in our day. It's a ton of fragments. Ah, so close. Okay. So we're going to try to at least be here to cover our dear friend. You know, just in case something decides to come out of it. And we'll at least, like, form Hunter's backs. We're together. Sort of. Heavy weapons. Rudiger. Oh, we have two Rudigers on our team. I might have to fix that later on. So we got a little bit of weird stone, and these two guys are at least set. Sword and shield and great warhammer. A new round has or started. Or just Great Hammer. Hmm. I gotta say, I'm trying to figure out how they're going to differentiate when they do add, like, DLC races. I'm almost entirely sure that the, la, 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 that the orcs and goblins are going to be first. Because they would be the ones to use traps and um, bombs and some other things. I really wonder how they're just going to differentiate between certain groups. You know what I mean? Okay, we're gonna take a shot. 95%. That was nice, and here's what we're going to do. He's going to switch weapons. He's going to get in an ambush E stance. Right here, that should do. And Jerno's going to watch his back. That's the plan, at least. Jerno's going to hop up and climb up just a little bit higher so he has a What's it? Just a slight advantage. Let's climb up here, what do we got? Okay. Rudiger. Let's let's try that again. With a little bit more oomph. There we go. See? He, he's a little old, but it's alright. He got it. It's quite impressive. Mm -mm, excuse me. Nice job. I'm still I'm still recovering from what that Dave Knight did to me last night. Oh, it was not fun, man. Maybe I'll post a picture of it. Okay, Jerno. He can take a shot, but I'd rather have him be at a higher ish vantage point. That's a ninety-five. So we'll take it. Reload. Nice shot. And boom. So he's pretty much protected by our dear, dear, um, young blood. Could you take another shot, I wonder? Do you see him? Okay, she does not see him. So we'll just keep on the weird stone grind, I suppose. Where? Should be over. Here we go. Perfect. We got this shard. I love the maneuverability that the smuggler brings to the table for the human um, warband. For the humans and the sisters of battle, because they're both not really known for their maneuverability. There's a Skaven around here. Oh, hello, sir. Well, you know what? Let's just go for it. Oh, and we got 10 plus for high ground. 
Nice. So, this is a great map for what we're doing right now. Okay. So this is going to get really, really, um, bad really, really soon. Alright, that was nice. Okay. Well then. We were doing good for a second. We're doing really good for a second there. And that happened. So yeah. We're slightly in some trouble. This isn't too bad. We just keep going straight. Where's the weird stone? Of course he's not going to be able to reach it. So it's just... Uh, it's another fragment. So it's just over there. I really need to take him out of this heavy armor. I thought it'd be nice to have one guy with heavy armor, but it's just, it's just not useful. It's not practical. Charge. Really, really useless at that point. These guys should be able to take this dude out. Can we charge him? See, I'm a terrible, like, judge of charge distances. Like, right there we got it, and, uh, whatever. I really need to, like, look into the charge perks. If anybody has any advice for the charge perks, please, down below. It'd be greatly appreciated. And Stark Quick Ball is definitely going to go down very quickly. So I'm happy about that. Our Hunter's Packs are actually really useful when you think about it. Charge, uh, he's not going to hit because Skaven, low levels, he's not going to hit. But at least we have the numbers advantage, so we might freak a out at some point. Has started. Our only issue is our young blood at this point in time. He is not, he's not in a good place right now. You feel me? He's just not in a good place. What's most likely going to happen is, so he failed his all on check, which sucks. Okay, cool. Mess with his movement. Oh, he's climbing up. Good. Please fall again, little rat. Please fall again. Oh, I think he's done. No, he's just going to keep moving down there. So the cool thing is, I think she can still hit him from here. Like, one reload, and I think she's good. So, this is a really, really bad situation. We're going to... I would love to take a shot. And then switch weapons and just move in. But I think switching weapons is going to just be a little bit better. And go in. <laughs> Alright. Well, he's not exactly specced for close combat. I, I feel very, very bad about that. Hold up, so that's a 44. Let's walk back for a second. That's 44, 64, uh, take the shot. Nice. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <clears throat> Things are going good with our, with our groups except for our hero. Reload. She should be able to, yeah. Oh, and we got impact shot. Let's try this out and hope that impact shot actually hits. Okay. Could we maybe do... No, we can't do um, two normal shots. So let's go for it. Please hit. Nice. Okay, that was big damage. That was actually really good damage. And the best part about it is next turn she can jump down chase him a little bit and then follow up please don't kill uh, mr. Volkmer alright now we have a problem we have a real problem now I should have sent Garno to the front but then again everyone else is doing fine so yeah that's an issue he failed his all loan check he's gonna run of course you missed and you missed too. Dang. So do we keep hunting this Skaven? That's another question. I'm not really sure. We can grab... We can grab that weird stone. But we really need to head this way. 
So we do kind of need to go after him. I guess maybe it might be a little bit better to ambush right here. His charge distance is already over. Nice hit with the greatsword. And please, let's get one more. Perfect. That's just perfect. What's he got on him? Anything of use? Probably not. Sticky sludge, you know what? I'll take it. And I kind of want to steal a sword, but no, it's all good. Hmm. What else do we have to deal with? This guy right here. Alright, this is going to be slightly important. Can't really do too much, so we're going to dodge stance like right here. We're going to block him off, and then we're going to have our archer, our marksman, climb up a little bit. You are going to go over here and grab this. Perfect. Good job. And then he's going to go form up with our dear sword and board fighter. And hopefully that'll work out A well. new round has started. So their leader is slightly over there. Ah. Uh, now where is he? That's a good question. Let us... We're going to disengage... No, we can't disengage. Which kind of sucks, but then again... We're on a one-on-one... -on -one, we're in a one-on-one -on -one fight right now, so... Could be worse. Like that. You know, just missing. Is he actually going to be able to climb up? No. No, he isn't. Please. Go for it one more time. I believe in you. You can do it. Nope. Apparently not. That is the perfect shot ever. It's literally like shooting rats in a barrel. She can't miss the next shot. Where is he? He's right over there. So, as crazy as this sounds. Oh, that's a cluster too. We need the... Nurk? Please hit Nurk. Nice. I do believe we shot him in the snout. Not snout. Oh, nose, I suppose. Or do rats have snouts? Ha! Hit me up in the comments below. Do rats have snouts? Um, that do decent amounts of damage. I kind of want to know if a leap attack would work. Let, let's just see. Just to satiate my curiosity. Just to sate my curiosity, I mean. No, leap attack won't work. So that's my bad. Let's just shoot him. So we only get a normal shot, so I... And we missed. And we can at least reload, so I... Satiate my curiosity. God, I mean sate. Jesus. That hurt. Gurno, I believe that he will miss the next... Okay, well, really wish I could run, but then again, it seems like this is completely my fault. It is. Oh, I didn't think he'd actually be able to come in. Garno's done. I don't think he'll actually last. So it's pretty much going to be two down uh, for each of us. I think we took the bigger hit, most likely, because, you know, we lost a hero. Yeah, he charged again. I really should have been prepared for that. I feel like he taunted me there for a second. Okay. and maybe we'll catch him. Hopefully. Uh, I'm not even going for it. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're too kind. Do you actually allow me to hit you? A new you? round has started. Now, where is this dude coming? Alright. 
we've now run into a bit of a sticky with a sticky situation. That guy hits hard. He failed. Can he even he can't even run? She's going to have to really take it to him. And maybe just jump down and make a mad dash for the other two guys. What's he going to do? He's really just going to sit there and not do anything. Okay. Well, Gerno is... Rudiger. God, I'm messing up everybody's names. Rudiger, I guess, is just going to be fun. Like, chilling out here. Now you, please tell me you can see him. Okay. That's... That's a problem. And just jump down. At this point, we need to haunt him. I'm kind of sad that we missed our... shot there. I really am. He's dead. The last episode of the Hotchland Hunters. Um, okay. One more person goes down, we lose. What can we possibly do here? Not much. Honestly, the idea of a large amount of marksmen may have been really, really bad. I don't know. Ah, well. Or it could just be that RNG did not favor us today. That's also a very, very large portion of this game, I feel. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, so that's his... If that's his charge, like, rage... Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, we cannot return fire. Just dodge stands, I guess, for time. <laughs> well, that was... Yeah, that was actually quite sad. A new round has started. I think he's done. Huh. Well, I think we're done here. Sadly, but yeah, I think we're done here. Not bad. Well, he's at least consistently hitting, but we're probably going to lose fairly soon. We kind of need her in here, don't we? Yeah. I didn't spec you out for this, but... That'd be three hits. I really want two hits. And why can't I get over this? Wait, like for real? We can only go and charge her? That is actually really dumb. Fine. Whatever. Yeah, no, I pretty much sealed her fate right there. I was hoping that we could get over that piece of wood, but apparently we couldn't. Oh. I do believe... This may be the last episode of the Hotchland Hunters. I had a good idea, but I don't think I have the knowledge about this game to actually execute 
um, how this should work. That's really what I think it is. It's the majority my fault. And yeah, Nick Grafer is going to come out of this feeling great. Or baby don't. Well, I mean, he does have, like, arrows all over his face. He's got some nice piercings. A new round has started. Poor Hodgeland Hunters. We never knew ye. Oh no, they got they got four episodes at least. Actually, we might be able to. No, we're still screwed. But can we at least take one more Skaven down with us? Just one more, maybe. It'd make me feel all the better. Nope. Nope. Your war by nah, the we're done. is critically low. We're done. Good lord, Tom. Yeah, Tam's done too. It's all over, people. It's all over. Oh, we succeeded a route test. I did not need that. It's not like we're actually going to be able to do anything. Although, I gotta admit, he has not really missed a shot yet, has he? That's pretty impressive. Hmm. But yeah, it's pretty much over. If, li if she goes down, it's done. Which, well, she's being triple teamed. I think it's over. I think it's very safe to say it's over. Oh well. Ugh, there's another adventure in Mordheim. Can she at least can she at least survive to continue smuggling? A new round has started. Hmm. Oh no, that it's over. It's super over. Wow. Okay, that was pretty good. I enjoy it, but... Oof. Ooh. And she failed her all alone check. She's done. <laughs> nice dodge. I mean, I have to admit, she is dodging like a champ, but... It's not the greatest of days today. He's gonna take Abnick it. Or not, apparently. For that 87% chance, hey, it's all good, though. It is. It's, it's completely fine. That's it, it's over. That's everybody we brought. I will have to keep this Dang. fiasco from reaching the Baron's ears. If he finds out about your defeat, he might decide to replace you with a gang of Bretonian shepherds. Wow. That was that was an insult, I'll admit that. I think this is it for the Hotchum Hunters. Brain trauma. Tom was never the same again. Cost of defeat. Burst eardrum. Well, she's a pirate. I could assume that happening all the time. Skull fracture, near-death experience, and brain trauma. Wow, um... You didn't have a good time. Full recovery, wow. His heavy armor was stolen and he's still fine. And near death experience, okay. Well, I think that is pretty much it for the Hodgeland Hunters. I'm not really feeling the idea for this warband. Maybe I'll come up with something better later on, who knows. But as of right now, the Hansel Hunters, you can consider them benched. Anyhow, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like the video, please like. If you have anything to say, especially about like a good ranged -y human warband build that involves bows, just please hit me up in the comments below and we can talk about this and analyze how it can be done. I just like making weird stuff. I'm not super big into OP stuff. 
but to tell you the truth, that probably would have saved me from getting destroyed by the Damonite last night. Anyhow, bye-bye!